Hello again, and welcome to the next one of my Gek tutorials. Today what we're going to be doing is my favourite thing to do in the Gek, for some reason. We're going to make an NPC. NPC, very exciting times. Okay, so you've got all these lists of NPCs. But what I'm going to do is right-click, New. And so that brings up this. And so, preview, full. We'll show a picture of his head, a picture of that. You can zoom in with a middle wheel. Or if you click the middle wheel, you can click and drag around so it look at him a bit better. That's a bit messed up. There you go. And preview head, previews just his head, as you might have already guessed. But there it is. I mean, he looks pretty he's pretty generic at the moment. Forget about that. So ID, we're gonna go YouTube NPC. We can call him whatever you want. And his name is gonna be This isn't Boris. Okay. Just hold on a sec. I'm just going to save my plugin now. That's good. YouTube NPC. Alright. So now we can look him up in the list. YouTube NPC. And he's back. Boris. And so this race, what you can do here is choose his race. It can be any of these. Hispanic, old, a slightly elder man. Old aged, that classic. What do you need, old man? That pops up everywhere. Um, but I'm gonna go for Caucasian, just a regular, regular guy. And all of these essential means he won't die; he'll just become unconscious. Respawn means he'll respawn. In case you didn't, in case you didn't guess, that's after three days. No knockdowns means he can't be knocked down. No vats melee means you can't go into vats when you're using a melee and target him can be all races, that's used by your dad, so you should ignore that. A quest item means that his body won't disappear when he's dead. No low level processing. I think that means his AI won't update when you're not in the cell that he's in. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that means, so I'm just going to leave it. Is character gen face preset? Just ignore that. I don't know what it does. So here we've got all these different things. Height, you don't really need you don't need to edit height unless you want to make him really tall. So for example I could go height two and he <laughs> becomes huge. But you're best having either zero or one. But yeah, you don't really need to change him between zero and one. It makes no difference. That doesn't matter. Class. That's not particularly important, but wasteland adventure. Now this will determine how good he is, and that will also determine whether you gain or lose karma on his death, get fingers or ears, and so on. Death items, again, you choose. This will only appear when he dies, and so you choose that. But it can only be certain items spe out of the leveled items list. But I'm not going to go into that now. Combat style defaults, that's fine. So stats. Now here you can edit all his skills, like strength 10, make him outrageously strong, for example. Or any of these, or you can edit these by doing this. His energy weapons, it's like that. Or you can just choose his level, so we can make him level 30 if you want to be insanely powerful. Well, not really. But anyway, your best bet is to click this, which means he will level up with the player. So he will be the same level as the player if you go for level mold 1. He'll up the same level as the player. Here you can change his health. And fatigue not used, so you don't need to do that. So it's give him 200 health. So he's quite he's quite powerful. Well, no, he's not really. He's average. Yeah, Boris, the average average kind of guy. Ooh, it's disgusting. Factions. This isn't important for the, what we're doing here. So, um, just wasteland the faction. That will basically determine who his his friends and enemies are and stuff. So if you put him raider, he'll be enemy to the player and ally to raider. So he'll attack raiders. No, he'll attack you and be friends with raiders. This is aggression. That depends on who he'll attack. So he won't attack anyone. He'll be. He'll attack his enemies. He'll attack loads of other people. Uh, you know, and that he'll just attack everybody you see. So we're gonna go unaggressive. Confidence depends how often he'll run away, so that means he'll never fight, always fight, and these are intermediates. So we'll go average, so he will run away if he needs to. Helps friends and allies, so he's a nice guy, so we'll join in. Mood, that's kind of pointless. 
This is only important if he's going to be a vendor, which Boris won't be. AI packages. Next up, we'll go to add. Just for now, we won't bother making a new one, and we'll go default. Default sandbox. Current location. Go for that one, so that means he'll be sandboxing in that radius. So he'll just wander around doing random stuff. Inventory. So at the moment he's got nothing, so you click new and it'll come up with a Braxo cleaner. So let's see, what do we want? Um, we want an outfit. Um, really anything will do. It doesn't really matter what he wears. But let's go for something interesting. That's not very interesting, I know. When we click preview full, and he's now wearing it. What you shouldn't do, if you put eyeglasses in his inventory and select to preview his head, it will always crash every single time. So don't do that. I'm going to go for new, and we'll give him some ammo. 10mm. New. A weapon. 10mm pistol. So now he's got a gun, a and some ammo to shoot you with. Why he's holding it? And he's also got that. I think that's pretty basic. Actor effects, you don't need to do that. Animation, that's already dealt with. Face. Now, usually what I do for this is just click generate, generate, generate until I find one that I like. Or one that looks kind of okay. Oh, I saw that really fat, disgusting one would have done nice for a guy called Boris. If there's any Boris is watching, I'm sorry. <coughs> Um I kinda liked one that I skipped over by accident. Sorry, I'm taking my time with this. Feel free to skip this while I choose his face. Yeah, go on. I'm getting fed up with this, so that's bias. Face advanced, this allows you to choose his features more specifically if you can be bothered, which I can't be. Head parts, this is where you select his hair. So, that's not curly. I don't care what this says. Hair messy one. Oh, that looks good. He's, he's a wastelander. He can be messy. And now this is where you choose his beard. So, for instance, you do that. There you go. See? But that's a load of crap, so we want a decent looking beard. Sometimes this can be a little dodgy when you're doing dialogue. I have had a character whose moustache would spin round to be vertical every time he spoke. So that was really weird. You can also give him eye patches here as well. That's a he That counts as a head part, the eye patch. Oh god, <laughs> that's awful. You know, that'll do. He looks okay. Now, blood. This is where you can change his type of blood if you want to be really freaky. But I'm going to stick with organic and destruction. Now, this is always fun. You can add destruction data, enabled, new. And let's say, so when he dies, let's say for instance, he will explode with a force of a fat man nuke explosion. Well, I'm not going to put... Actually, you know what? I will. I will put that in. Alright. There we go. That's... He will explode like with a force. Right. Scripts. Again, we don't need to know that either. Please don't freeze. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell? Alright. Okay. Easy enough, so what we're going to do now is place him somewhere in the world. Oh, I didn't want to go there. So we're going to place him in a wasteland. We're going to place him somewhere where there's lots of things for him to do while he sandboxes. And somewhere where it's easy to get to. And somewhere he's not going to die. I guess that could be disastrous since he explodes like a fat man. No, that's not too bad. I could set him to explode like the Megaton Nuke, but that might be... That might be fucking crazy. Megaton Town. 
So this is, yes to all, the inside of Megaton, essentially. But when I say essentially, it literally is the inside of Megaton. Is it? Because this looks a bit weird. I don't know. I've placed people inside Megaton before, but it didn't look like this. Just let me check something. I bet this isn't going to help at all. Um, I don't know. It does look. So I'm going to faff around with this for a little bit. Forget about that. <laughs> Slap him somewhere else. I've done it before, I just can't remember how to get it, whether that's right or not. Oh shit. Thank god, I'm just going to save my plug in case it gets messed up. Instead we're going to stick him in... There's not very much to do in Springvale, but he can do it. So, YouTube NPC. In he goes, and we'll hit F to drop him to the floor. And there he is. So, I'm going to head off into the game, and we can have a little look at him. But, before I do that, I realised I didn't include a Fallout Mod Manager installing of mods in my last video. Oh, bloody hell. Fuck it. So we'll go Fallout Mod Manager. Fallout 3, because that's the game we're using now. And you can see there he is, YouTube NPC. So you click him. I'm going to disable all my other mods for doing this. And I'll move him to the top of my load order. So you just click and drag. And he moves up to the top. So the higher up things are up the load order, the more, li the more likely they are to load and not get overwritten by other things lower down. So there it is, YouTube NPC. Also in the last video, it crashed so much that I just had to give up trying to preview it. I don't know what was going on. Hopefully it works for everybody else. Okay. Okay. I'm playing as one of my many uh, Fallout guys. Wow, 13 frames a second. What's going on? Okay. I am wearing the ridiculously overpowered US combat winter... T51 Anchorage, and uh, we'll have to go and visit Boris. You can see over distance actually. I did make a mod where it wasn't ridiculously overpowered, and where it also didn't give you power armor training. But yeah, so well, we got hurt. What happened to you, Boris? Good to see you. See, so look, you can you can see him. Rest in the glow, friend. He's doing sandboxy stuff. We haven't done any dialogue for him, so if you talk to him, all he says is, "What do you need?" And all I can say is. Bye. So it's a bit, it's a bit weird. And oh, somebody got their health back. What's going on? Oh! I'm dead. <laughs> Destruction data in action. Right, let's see if we can do it without getting bloody killed. I think the tutorial's pretty much over now. I'm just faffing around. Watch as I use console commands. <sighs> Fixed. Now let's go kill Boris. 
I'm wondering why, but I think he attacked me. I don't know if I hit him or not. This time he's all the way over there doing bugger all the looks of it. What's wrong with your package? Hey. Yeah. Later. So he's just got that generic old voice type. And he's doing sod all. And he's fighting like the good old this video is. Prophet yeah, I just doesn't give a damn. I can't bats him for some reason, I'm not really sure why that is. Where's his body gone? I may have to fiddle with some destruction data settings because his body has vanished. Anyway, that's my tutorial over. So long, everybody. Hello again. Just a little extra because I changed Boris's destruction data to be the Megaton Nuke. I'm gonna see if that works or if it crashes my game. Crashed already, so. Alright. Here I go. He may have just been the dust, but he looked like he wasn't wearing any clothes. Whoa, he's lagging out, even getting close to this guy. Oh god. Here it comes, here it comes. That was rubbish. That had to probably look damn impressive from far away. But for me, that was rubbish. And here's his body. With the stuff we gave him, but for some reason, only one ten millimeters around. Guess he used to rest up. Didn't think he used ammunition. But there we go. That would have looked bloody amazing from a distance. Well, you all know what Megaton Newt looks like. So long, guys.